testimony begins in Winnebago County Corn at the trial of former Oshkosh West student Grant Furman. The now 20-year-old is accused of attempted first-degree intentional homicide after allegedly stabbing a school resource officer back in December of 2019. Emily Byer was in court today and joins us live with the latest details from the trial. Emily. Brittany, today we heard opening statements from both sides. It went right into witness testimony. The first witness, the teacher who ran in to help after hearing gunshots inside Oshkosh West High School. Both the state and the defense agreeing the teacher was a hero in that situation. While on the stand, Oshkosh West math teacher Kenneth Levine talked about the moments leading up to the incident that unfolded on December 3rd, 2019. He said he heard the gunshots and at first he thought it was someone hitting a locker really hard. But after seeing a frightening reaction from one of his students, he quickly realized it was much worse. He ran outside the classroom and could hear Officer Michael Wissink yelling for help, adding that it sounded like it was life or death. Levine ran into the room and says he saw both Furman and Officer Wissink very clearly injured. Levine says Officer Wissink told him he needed a tourniquet and Levine jumped into action. I thought Grant is going to die. I knew Mike was really, really bad off, but he seemed like he would be able to control the situation for a few seconds. So I ran out of the room and I tried banging on the classroom doors next to him and across the hall from him to see if somebody could would come and they didn't because they were doing what they were supposed to do. So then I ran down to the nurse's office, which is probably another 25, 30 yards down the hall, tried banging on that door and yelling for a tourniquet and realized that they're not going to come either because they're doing what they're supposed to do. So then I ran back to Mike's room and used my belt as a tourniquet. And now another teacher and a now retired doctor also took the stand. After the jury left for a break, the defense expressed concerns to the judge about the state asking questions they claim were not brought up prior to trial. The defense discussed possibly asking for a mistrial. The state argues the questioning was fair game because the defense brought it up during opening statements. Reporting live in Oshkosh, Emily Byer, Action 2 News.